We got stuck on the, the red light today. Everybody does. One dollar, one taco. You split it. Welcome to the city. The cities of central Mexico are rich with ancient architecture, interesting art, and all kinds of lively activities, beautiful streets, and of course, delicious local food. Certainly an experience not to miss. We start our trip right where we last left off, in the giant city that takes up most of the state, Aguas Caliente. We are in Aguas Calientes. We're really in hot water now, guys. <laughs> We are just driving through Aguas Calientes for more interesting places and still not sure if these roadside fires are prescribed or not. That's hot. That stinks. <laughs> we heard about the tiniest little museum here in a little town and um, apparently they have really old mummies here so we're kind of curious and um, yeah, we're gonna go and check this out. This was apparently a spot not to miss, as they have something no other museum in the world has. <laughs> That's a mummy? Not to be disrespectful. Small. Yeah. Strange. And of course they have normal sized mummies too. Pretty, pretty cool place. Definitely visit it if you're in a neighborhood. It's really cool. On the road heading east from Aguas Calientes, we're visiting one of the largest cities in central Mexico, Leon. We are in Leon. Pretty big city here. And uh, yeah, it took us some time to get some parking, but we're here now and we're yep. going to explore the city. Yep, a couple hours, check it out, right on. Lyon has a population of over 1.7 million and we are immediately taken back as we have not been in a city this large since our time in the United States a few months prior. The architecture of this city is something to behold as the designs and grand nature of them tower over anything else we've seen. The city of Lyon really did a decent job promoting their downtown area as we fell in love with their art, buildings, and shops. Certainly the most modern city we have visited yet. We spend over an hour in the central park of the city, walking around before deciding to sit down with some coffee and take it all in in a different way. We're so happy that we can get shade everywhere we go here in Lyon. <laughs> That's great because it's super hot and we burn easily, especially this one. Yep, I am white and I burn. <laughs> All right, cool. So we spent, uh, I don't know, a couple hours in Leon, looked around, it's pretty neat in the downtown corridor. Um, but now we're headed out. It is now midday, super hot, super busy. So we're leaving, going to Guanajuato, and we're not taking the highway, which is pretty normal for us. We're taking the mountain road. Pretty excited about that. And there's someone up there who wants to say hi. <laughs> Can't wait to show him to you. Heading east still, we are always finding something to see or do in this massive and beautiful country. This time, it's a backcountry drive on a long and windy cobblestone mountain route. Just about everything is better off the highway. Sure, it's slower, but we get to see what real Mexico is like. Okay, so this is what the drive was for all the way up this long uh, cobblestone road. <laughs> We're up to here to see Jesus, but unfortunately, he's under construction. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Can't see anything. That's hmm. okay. But the view up here is phenomenal. Apparently, they put this statue here because it's the dead center of Mexico. So that's another reason why we went here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, yeah. yeah. Just sad that he's all wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> on 
on this road. Isn't it fun? Yeah, at least it's not washboards. Hola, <laughs> Mumu. Hey guys, could you, I don't know, make, make a little space for us? Like I know what we're, do you the, think? we're the visitors here, but you could at least be a little respectful. Oh, this one's trapped on the other side. He's like, damn, took the, wrong, <laughs> took the wrong side. Eventually, on this long but beautiful mountain drive, we arrive at what is quite possibly the most interesting and beautiful town we may ever see in Mexico. The city of Guanajuato. Extremely colorful and vibrant, this old city stands out among the rest. Pretty steep. <laughs> and narrow too. Wow, what's that? Careful everyone. Travis and Lindsay coming through. The streets also stand out as the narrow and steep roads are difficult to navigate. Yeah, four-wheel drive would have been a good idea. It was slipping a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I need help uh, finding the spot. Yeah. Let's have a look. We awkwardly get into camp and find our place amongst fellow travelers. That's where we're going. Ta-da! Ooh, a little bit. A little bit. Stop! That is tight! Good job. Home for tonight. Looks good. This is us. Woo! It's okay. messy again. That's new. <laughs> the toilet stayed where it was, but its little chair decided to come back. That was definitely that steep hill we just did. That's so silly. <laughs> Our friends, Travis and Leah, are here, and we spend the rest of the evening catching up since we last met on our journey from Baja. This will serve as a great base so we can explore the city. We can't wait to see this amazing part of Mexico. We are in... Guanajuato! Guanajuato. This town is super cute. Finally found a town we actually really enjoy spending some time in. <laughs> yeah. First time in a week. Like every corner of this town is just cute and colorful. Yeah, it doesn't stop. It's so great. <laughs> colorful and vibrant. If I can use two words to describe this town, those would be it. We've seen a lot of cities on this trip, and we will see plenty more. But this city somehow captivates us and easily becomes one of the most interesting cities we have ever been to. You're not gonna go hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely enough food. In Guanajuato. This giant market has countless vendors with whom we can find the perfect meal. Oh, here fresh juices. This looks great. The traditional food here in Mexico is delicious, and we've eaten a fair amount so far. But this day, lunch even comes with a free serenade from a local musician. It's now 1 p.m., hottest time of the day. Also, our bellies were really full. And this one decided it's a good idea to hike up the hill to do some sightseeing. <laughs> the breeze will be worth it. <laughs> We're almost there, just around this corner. <sighs> Question is, is it for this statue or is it for this view? Oh yeah. I think the view is better than the statue, but <laughs> Once I catch my breath, I'm gonna look at the statue too. <laughs> it looks like some sort of Mesoamerica, you know, Aztec Mayan thing. I like that. Your explanation is always so brilliant. <laughs> Let's have some water. 
so happy to have come here, but so sad to have to go. All right, our time is almost up in Guanajuato. It was really great here on the campground. Um, there's just a few spots, but we met a bunch of lovely people here again. Yep. And uh, we're going to drive for the first time through the city center, which will be quite challenging. Yeah, it was pretty busy and confusing walking, so we're going to see how it is driving. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole bunch of tunnels, so <laughs> let's see if we make it to the spot where we have to be. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Very steep streets in Guanajuato. A little scary for me. Quite all right for Travis. Yeah, you're good. You still have a little left. Driving the narrow street down is a little awkward with a camper, but we managed to slip through. Guanajuato has an extremely extensive underground road network which is for the better, as the roads on the surface make almost no sense. However, immediately our mapping app fails upon descending into the dark below. No worries, we're not lost. We just don't know where we are exactly. <laughs> Being a little lost is also a nice way to see the city, if nothing else. We knew beforehand not to take the tunnels into town. Luckily for us, we came in a different way. Oh, we're going deeper now. <laughs> but now, completely lost, we are just guessing where to go. But after some luck, we finally do make it out of this underground labyrinth and make it out of this amazing city. We made it outside of Guanajuato. We're just chilling in the country right now. And for the first time, we are hearing thunder and a bit of rain today. First time in over a month, two months almost. Let's see if we can hear it. There's our thunder. That <laughs> is gray clouds. We have had beautiful sunny skies ever since we got here. So this is new. <laughs> Cities are interesting for us as we usually take the path least traveled, but this time we were pleasantly surprised. And now we plan the next course of action, some high mountains in the Eastern Mexico while we travel on the Pan-American Highway. 